Looking at Valiant Pharmaceuticals, though, still making headlines after a volatile few days. Well, here's some green on the screen. Valiant is bucking the market trend here, jumping by more than 3%. Uh, could it be ready to sell off some of its most well-known assets to stop the bleeding? And maybe, Charlie, that's why it's moving higher. Uh, could be. Um, we could tell you this. So this is what we have from sources, investment bankers that are dealing with in this issue right now that Valiant is eyeing asset sales to pay down some of its debt. It's got $32 billion in debt. And one of the things, one of the assets we hear that they're actively discussing, and this is a pretty big deal if it ever comes to fruition, is its Bosch and Laum unit. It bought Bosch and Laum, I believe, in 2013. Bankers are telling the Fox Business Network that they're inside. They're actively discussing a potential sale of that to pay down some of that debt. How much could they get for it? Well, they bought it for $9 billion in 2013. I mean, I've seen estimates range for about 20 to 30 billion dollars that you can get for this, and you know that's a big chunk of change. Um, can they? You know, the question is, uh, you know, how much do you sell, and what type of assets do you sell? Because there is a bullish case to this to this company if you restructure the debt, which they did, they've they've reached agreement today, and at at some point you start making money based on the assets you have. Is this? It's well. What is it right now? A twenty dollars stock, thirty dollars stock. Yeah, but again, with the annual high of more than two hundred forty-six dollars. Okay. Well, maybe it, maybe it's a sixty dollars stock when all is said and done. Because compared the, to two forty-six. Right. So so the business model of the past, which was just let's just ramp up prices, that's mm -hmm. gone. We can't make money that way. We can't make money by buying all these mm -hmm. companies. It's too much debt. We're already yeah. a junk bond. So now what do we have to do? You know, we have to we have to we have to basically make money off of the units that. Produce positive cash flow. Bausch and Lomb is one of its one of those. But I do know from inside the company that they are actively discussing selling this as part of this plan to go to ramp down the debt. We've got this sell-off here, and the traders were saying just watch earnings coming out and broadening this discussion right. here. You know, this is what stocks should be trading on: earnings and the prospect of earnings. Well, right? the pr the problem is that you have politics playing such a big role right now in the markets. You have uh, a Fed. That you know is unclear about which where it's going to go. Is it going to ease or is it going to raise one more time? We don't. You know, most most traders are are, are siding with the fact that they wait another another. Uh, you know, to they're not going to raise in the in the near term. And Peter's and, got the San Francisco Fed saying at least two more, okay. but the markets say just December. Yeah, they, that's what they're saying. And it's December. That's not too. That's pretty far off. Yeah. And the other thing is politics in terms of screwing. You know, the markets are like deals. You know, when, what happens when two companies come together? Well, if two companies come together, they create efficiency as a scale, it's good for the stock. Markets are hearing, seeing now that the Obama administration is being very aggressive on a lot of these mergers. Which is just uh, what the trader said. So, so you, if help. you have those two things, you can't just trade off of earnings. But getting back to Valiant, there is a bull case here, I'm telling you. Uh, I know a lot of people. Uh, it's not going to go be a $250 stock, wherever it was in the past. But this thing, theoretically, at least according to the bulls, I'm not saying buy the stock, but there is a potential for, go, for doubling, going to 60, maybe, who knows? Uh, one of the ways they do that, sell off some of the assets. Bausch and Laum is a big chunk if they do it. There's positive and negatives are selling out. I do know they're talking about it. Can you